for over 20 years. This Bentley and Rolls Royce have been rotting practically in the woods. Another sad story from a collector who couldn't collect and put the cars in order. As a rule, most of the shed and garage finds take place in the US, in the measure of a huge area and the largest car market. Now I suggest returning to Mother Europe, or rather the most freedom-loving country, Netherlands. Look, a pretty banal village house in Brabant province worth thousands, but this one stands out because several dozen Jaguars, Rolls Royce and Bentley have been found here in varying degrees of preservation. There are eight silver shadows, two silver cloud units, a few Jaguar XJS and at least two Mark 8s. Everything is tried, the collector died and there is no one to continue his work, so called the appraisers to place all his cars at the local auction. Some of the cars were luckier and it was under the roof, but as you can see, it did not greatly affect the condition of the cars. It feels like either the owner died too long ago and nobody cared about his property or he had stopped being interested in the cars it himself. Also, there are a lot of spare parts, mostly for British cars. This can be a great opportunity for collectors to find something to restore. I don't know about you, dear viewers, but it really hurts me to look at pictures like that, a long and painful death. Not always wishes coincide with possibilities and bought and assembled cars in one place do not often go on public roads in perfect condition. Someone went to the parts as a donor for a stronger and more solid Jaguar. And what do you think? Apparently, he had favorite and not so much pets. So in a warm and covered hangar, there were cars nearby, to which he felt more anxious. You can see it condition in the photo. Alfa Romeo, GTV, Ferrari 412, Renault Frigat, Citroën 4CV and several Mercedes were seen there. Don't forget to subscribe and like it, thanks for sharing and bye bye!